So it is the start of a new year and it is that time to refresh our planty wish list. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not a huge fan of wish lists. I did it last year, like middle of the year just to do it, to be honest but it actually really ended up helping me throughout the year and i actually enjoyed kind of looking for those plants and it just kind of gave me like a road map instead of just buying every plant i saw it kind of gave me some goals you know to accomplish and i felt good just kind of like checking it off my list and part of what i enjoy about plants is looking for that plant and getting it at a deal you know it just makes it so much sweeter when you get it at a good price so i'm gonna do it again this year because i enjoyed it last year so before before I tell you about my 2023 wish list, we're going to review my 2022 one, see did I get the plant, how it's doing, do I still have the plant, if I got the plant, and then we'll jump to 2023 and I'll just share with you guys what I'm feeling like for this year. So at the top of my 2022 wish list was a Syngonium Chia Pens, and I did get a Chia Pens. I believe I got it as a one leaf cutting for about 20 to $30, it wasn't more than that. And it was gorgeous when I got it and it started growing immediately. So I have it up on a pole now and it looks really good. I think it is working on another leaf. I think I recently changed the pole that it's on now. I'm not, I don't remember exactly, but it's, it's doing pretty good. I honestly, I did think, well, this is the thing. It was growing really fast at first and then it kind of started slowing down kind of started once I got it on the pole, but then I moved it to an area where all my plants on poles are, and they're getting like indirect light. They're not getting direct light. So it could be a change in lighting as to why it's not growing as fast, but either way, it definitely did not disappoint. It's so buttery. The texture, I always say, if you've never touched a Chia Pins, buy it just to touch it. Don't just go to the store to touch it. Buy it just to touch it because it's so satisfyingly buttery soft like the madness does not disappoint i love it and i don't know the macrophyllum or phyla is is the same exact texture right but it just doesn't give the same way as those wide round chia pins leaves so i did get it and i do love it the next on my wish list was the anthurium bestiae and i did get that too i ended up importing that with tropicals plants several maybe six months ago by now I don't know if it's been six months but i imported it with tropicals and it did pretty good as well i think we're down to one leaf we're only down we're down to one leaf and i don't see signs of another but i'm not completely worried because it has a ton of roots in there it's very healthy so we'll see i it, i did let it dry out for too long and that was my fault the container is in a glass container but it sits behind another plant so i couldn't quite see like that it was actually empty it looks fine to me. You know what I do? I look at the top and I look at the moss and the moss was still moist. I was like, oh, it's fine. It probably still has water. No, it's dry. So it's probably why it hasn't put out new new leaves because it's been dry. Next was my variegated Epipremnum panatum. I, that was on my wish list because I had killed my previous one. I did end up ordering one from Equigenera, the US website. And if you guys remember, I wasn't ecstatic about it. Like it was cute, but I wasn't ecstatic because I just really loved the first one that I had. And because I, I actually, let's see, I remember I did pot it up and then I almost killed this one. So I literally just have it sitting in water. You'll see the clip of it. It's just sitting in water because I'm just, I don't want to touch it. I'm just afraid of killing it. And it's really not getting the best care. It doesn't have a lot of light. So that's definitely one of my goals this year is to set that plant up right. Because if y'all remember, I'm gonna throw it up on the screen, the pictures that I showed of why I wanted it um, on my original wish list video, the leaves are just gorgeous. So I, I really need to like do it right so that it can, I'm looking at it right now and it's, it has good color. It does have good color. I'm just afraid of killing it again. So, I mean, I could keep it in water, right? Ideally I could keep it in water and then put it on a plank still. I don't know. I'm going to figure something out because I got it. And so I should just figure it out, get over my fear and just do it. Right. Next was the mystery box. So I didn't get it because 
the person I was going to order from had a situation and so I wasn't able to get the order from that person anymore so I have to kind of re I did look at other um, shops on Etsy to get a mystery box from but they just weren't giving what this girl's shop was giving like she had some great plants and the other ones they have okay plants or they're not telling exactly what their so what their collection includes so you can have a real idea of what you could get so I'm just a little hesitant to pick another company on Etsy that same girl does have it on another platform I'm just it's still in the work so I'm I I'm haven't done it I didn't get it but I still want to get it next on my 2022 wish list I had the Diffenbachia reflector I did not get that and I think I just wasn't seeing it. I wasn't seeing it for sale. It wasn't a plant that I saw people here on the Facebook groups or anything like that. I didn't see it in any stores. So I wasn't really seeking it out because like I've said like this whole past summer is that I don't order as many plants online as I used to. So I really kind of focus on what is available in the market around me and I wasn't seeing that. So I honestly kind of forgot about it. And then like I would remember here and there, but I just wasn't, I didn't want to go through shipping it. I just, if I'm going to ship plants, I feel like it has to be like, I would do it more so for an import and not so much for, you know, a domestic because there's just too many available plants around me for me to be shipping plants, but sometimes you just gotta do it, right? I do still really like it, so I feel like I should, I should do it, but I don't know. It's, it's honestly not, I'm not gonna lie, it's not on my wish list for 2023, it's really not, but I still think it's a gorgeous plant, I still want it. Next was the Domino Peace Lily or the Picasso Peace Lily. So I actually did get a Domino Peace Lily from a person from Wish Wednesday. For whatever reason, I just did not, I just, it's just pure, pure neglect. I don't have any excuse as to why I didn't really, you know what it was? So there was a time where I was getting a lot of plants like in one short period of time. And so I wasn't potting them up immediately. I would just put them in water. And this is one of those that ended up just staying in water, but where it was in water, that's the other thing. I'm trying to remember my thought process as to why I didn't take care of this plant. And really, I'm just giving you excuses, but it's, you know, it's my thought pattern. And, you know, I don't have a lot of places to put my plants that are not going to be in direct sunlight. I got it in the middle of the summer. The sun was wild. I mean, peace lilies do like sun, but not that Texas sun. There ain't no plant, not, not even cactus like that Texas sun. And so it was on the shelf where there is not as much light and water. And I think I just forgot about it. It is still alive. As you can see in the clip, it's still alive, but barely. But I did pot it up. Since then, I have potted it up into pond, and I'm gonna do right by it because that was a gift to me, so I should take care of it. And I don't normally do that with gifts. I don't know what it is. Maybe when I received it, I just wasn't like as overwhelmingly excited about it as I thought I would be. And maybe that's why I didn't really do anything with it. I didn't actively seek out the Picasso one. I did see it to be imported, but I haven't placed any new import orders. So yeah. And the next one is the Apobolus Acuminatissimum. That one. I actually did get it. And guess where I found it? At Tom Thumb, the grocery store. I wasn't looking for it. I knew where to get it, but I just, again, was being too cheap to pay to ship for plants. And so I was just at the grocery store. It was either Tom Thumb or, Tom Thumb or Kroger, one of those. And it was there. I said, what? And it looked good. I'll show, ooh, <laughs> almost threw my iPad off my lap. It looks good. They had a couple of them and there was, they had something else there that was similar. I don't know. The point is that I found that at the grocery store for like 14 or $16. It is unfortunately still in soil and I want to move it out because the soil is a brick. It's a brick and it's in a terracotta pot, which I don't really do. It's cute, but it doesn't match, you know, my vibe. So I did get it. I do love it and the leaves are, the foliage is just as beautiful as I thought it would be. The leaves are thinner though, they are very thin and I didn't expect them to be that paper thin, but it's been growing, it's been giving me new leaves, it reminds me, the care reminds me of the homolomena where the leaves get super droopy as soon as it wants water and then it'll perk back up. So it's pretty easy and yeah, the, the foliage is giving just the way it I thought it would from the pictures. And next is 
cactus in general i guess i had a couple of ideas here of tornado cactus monkey tail euphorbia mermaid cactus and mexican post cactus i just wanted more cactus and euphorbia in my collection in general and a couple of these i did and a couple of these i didn't let's see okay so the monkey tail i thought i had a rat tail mon um rat tail cactus but you guys told me that you think it is a monkey tail cactus and that it would get the longer spines as it became more mature. So I might have a monkey tail cactus, so check. <laughs> and then for Euphorbia, I did end up getting a Euphorbia. I cannot tell you what the name of it is, but it gets little purple leaves, it's really cute. It sits under my um, money tree. And I think I put it there because I thought it would be fine in the windowsill in the sunroom and it was not <laughs> it was not so i put it under the money tree and it's been doing fine ever since has it grown i don't think so but it's still alive and it made new little leaves so that tells me it's okay i do still want the tornado cactus but yeah that was the only one of that category that i had gotten next is the diuna duel i did get a diuna duel a little baby one but it had two on it so i thought that was really nice that it came with two and i got it from ebay to be honest i have i don't buy very many plants on ebay but that was the only place that i found a decent one or one that was actually a diuna duel i talked about this previously that when you search for these on etsy or online or what have you there's all these other variations of the diune and it's not always the duel and so you could end up with a different one but you may not know until it actually grows out so it was a little it was a little funny it was a little funny searching for it online but I finally found it and it came with two fronds I don't know what they're called but it's really cute and it hasn't grown a lick since I got it <laughs> and I did have it right in front of my window ever since I got it and i only watered it you know when it was super dry but you know they are really slow growers so i wasn't expecting any massive growth but it's still a cute little guy the next thing i wanted to get into was orchids and i did i got so many orchids unfortunately the orchids all of my orchids are not in bloom right now so all of the pictures or clips that you're gonna see is just them and their gorgeous, you know, simple plain leaves. Except for my other one, I forget what that one's called. That one has the nice spotted leaves, but none of them have spikes right now. Is one, oh, the one that I rehad my mom's the one from years ago, that one is in bloom. I think I got a clip of that, I'm not sure. If not, I'll get in one and put it in there. But I do love orchids, I love them, they're not, complicated like I thought they would be so if you're thinking about orchids and you can deal with not always having the blooms go for it very happy with my orchids next on my wish list was the philodendron esmeraldans now I did get one I got one from the equation there was it the pop-up I think it was the pop-up that I got it I don't remember exactly what I got the philodendron esmeraldans I can't remember if it's now or not I feel like it I'm looking, where is it at? I'm looking for, oh, I see it. I don't think it's a narrow. I don't think it's a narrow. I don't know. But that plant, if you guys have seen my previous videos where I've been doing a little versus of fluval versus perlite, that's where I first like cut them up and showed them. And it's doing well. It has several new leaves. So I did get it and I do. I love it more now as it's putting out newer leaves because they have this nice little bronzy immersion leaf in the... What do you call that? The waviness, the abs, or the depths of the pillowiness of the leaves is definitely giving. So love my Esmeraldans. The next is the Philodendron Serpents. Now mine is looking real crusty. It does not look good at all. Like not even a little bit. I don't have not one good looking leaf on that plant. And to be honest, I don't even, I'm looking at it right now. I've kind of neglected it. I don't know why. I think because, you know what? It was always a struggle, right? It didn't really import as well as my Squammy Call. You might be able to see it in the frame. It didn't import as well as that one. And it was always kind of a struggle. It's still alive. As bad as it looks, it's still alive. But I should check on it because the roots look questionable. And besides the plant that I'm showing you guys, I do have another cutting. And yeah, you know what it was? I didn't care that these leaves were crusty looking because I thought I was gonna have new leaves in no time. New leaves never came. So 
that's why it looks like that so it's not I and even when I did the unboxing of it I was like mm, I like it but you know like it wasn't as I didn't love it as much as I thought I would I ended up liking the Squammy Cole more so would I go back and buy it again <sighs> honestly I'm gonna say yes I would just do I would just take better care of it <laughs> next is a pitcher plant and I did end up getting a pitcher plant and it is now dead and gone you it's I think you will probably have seen um, the previous video I think I did before I'm gonna put out before this one is all the plants I killed in 2022 you'll see that pitcher plant up there that I once had I'm gonna try again though because I really like pitcher plants Next is the Piper Crocatum, and yes, you guys know I have a Piper Crocatum. I, you know what, I feel like I might show it more on my um, Instagram than I do here. I guess maybe I haven't showed it to you guys that much, but I have it, I love it, and it does very well. It is. It looks like it's the same size as when I first got it, but it actually grew, I wouldn't say double the height, but it grew a lot. It grew a several leaves, and I chopped it to make a pot for my plant wall that I'm working on, and all the propagations died. I am so upset. The one last propagation that I had in the pot box dead and gone I just I see people propagate pipers and I did what those people do and it didn't work like I did it and you know only thing I didn't try was in straight perlite which that's how I propagate most of my plants why didn't I just do that I don't know I put it in water I put it in a prop box I put it in dirt like I did everything else other than what I normally do and I should have just did what I normally do because now I don't want to cut it again even though I really wanted a pot for my wall Anyways, I digress. I got the Piper Crocatum and I love it. Last on my list was Hoyas. Now, I think I put a couple here because I wasn't sure. That was before I really knew any names of Hoyas, but I had the Bertonier up there, which one of you guys, Monica, sent me one as a gift and it's doing great. Like, it's so cute. It's definitely one of my favorite Hoyas because of the sun stressing. I love how I like, I didn't know how it was going to turn out, but I chopped it up and put it in a little pot and now it's just making this beautiful full plant. So I love, love, love my Bertonier. And I didn't know, I had Callista Phyla up here on my list, but yeah i didn't get it though i wanted it but i i honestly forgot i forgot that i wanted that and so i never got it <laughs> so that is all for what i wanted in 2022 and what i ended up getting i think i did pretty good i will say i got maybe like 80 percent yeah i feel like i got like 80 percent of the list so now for 2023 i'm not gonna lie my list is a lot shorter i have a lot of plants already <laughs> and I feel like I'm at my max so there's not a whole whole lot more plants that I want I may I do want to start kind of giving away some plants I'm just not sure exactly how I want to do it I'm not really into selling plants so I feel like I might just give them out at, in my building like leave them out for people to take or give them to people that I know because I don't know I just don't see me I feel it's, I know it doesn't make sense maybe to other people, but I feel like it's of more value for me to give it to someone than to get monetary value for it because I know it's not going to be monetarily equal to what I paid or even close to what I paid for it. So it's like I'd rather, I would feel better just giving it to somebody than not getting what I think it's worth. Does that make sense? I don't know. Anyways, y'all not here for that. Y'all are here for the 2023 <laughs> wish list, though. Starting off is the Hoya Callista Phyla. And funny thing is, when I made my 2023 wish list, I didn't even check yet what I had on my previous one. So I didn't even know that this was on my previous wish list, but I wanted the Hoya Callista Phyla. And it's just the veininess. So I'm not into veiny Hoyas yet, but I'm, I feel like I need to kind of turn my eye to it because there's so many. So... This was the only one that I looked at that I was like, I could work with that. Like, I like that. Or anytime I do see it, I'm like, hmm, okay. And I think it's the dark green on the lime green. And the veininess is more artistic to me than reptilian. Like, obviously, it's reptilian, but it's just so, I don't know. I actually really like this. I really, really do. 
And so I had to also look at too, like how does it look as a full plant, right? Like not just a couple of leaves, even though a lot of times I just get two leaves as a cutting, what is it gonna look like when it's a full plant? And so I like this third picture I have up here where it's like up on the trellis. It just looks actually really dainty because sometimes the reptilian Hoyas can be really kind of like harsh and almost manly. I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's the right word, masculine, manly, I don't know, but I like the splashy, cute, girly, dainty, you know, so I wasn't getting that from the hard reptilian ones, except for this one. So that's why it's on my wish list. The next is the tornado cactus. I want a tornado cactus still. <laughs> so I still would like to expand my cactus collection in general, but I really just love the artistic swirl of the tornado cactus. And I, I don't, I don't know, something about it being in that white pot just really does it for me. Cause I like this second picture, but not as much cause it's just not as aesthetically pleasing, I guess, but I still want a tornado cactus. The next on my wish list is the Piper Porphy Porphyrophyllum. 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 That one. <laughs> and it's basically the dark and velvety version of the crocatum. Like, look at it. Like, oh, you know, it's just, I really, there's just something about dark and velvety leaves for me and the Piper porphyrophyllum is it like <laughs> it's just gorgeous look at this third this is this the third no the second picture this one is so cute because you see the little fuzzies around the edge like and they when they have water and they're nice and well hydrated they're nice and plump like that and i just i just love it and they're so easy like my piper um regular crocatum is so easy when it needs water it be drooping and when you give it water it perk back up and it's fine like love it i love when my plants speak to me because i don't especially that one because it's still in dirt it's not in semi-hydro and i'm probably not going to change it because i don't get any fungus gnats hanging out around it and it could take being dried out so i'm gonna just leave it and so yeah i love a good looking easy plant Next, oh wait, no, I have one more picture. So yeah, I like this picture too of it on the, on the tree. Will I do that? I don't have any trees, but it just looks nice. So that's why the picture is in there. <laughs> the next one is the Homolomina humilis. Now, I just love Homolominas in general. I feel like it's an underrated species. No, is it a species or genus? Genus, it's an underrated genus in general. And I'm not sure why. I think some people, I think a lot of people have difficulty with them, but I don't know. I thankfully haven't had any difficulty with them, so I'm always looking for different varieties of it. So this humulus one gives me like Mikan's vibes. It's the dark and velvety, but yet it still has this burgundy, like emergent leaves. And so even this second picture, all of these leaves obviously aren't emerging, but I'm still getting a lot of bronziness and, you know, gold into it. I think there's either, I don't know if there's just the humulus and then there's a red velvet variety or if they're the same thing. I've seen them as both. Either way, I like them all. This third picture, it might have a little help with the editor, but the bluish, darkish, reddish, just the hues, the hues of this plant is just, I just love a dark green velvety plant. So yeah. And this seems like it stays kind of compact, which I don't mind, even though I really love my big leafy plants, I don't have the space or the energy. So this little one, it'll be cute. I can take it. The next is another homolomina. So this one I'm a little confused about. There's the variegated homolomina mint, and then there's the variegated homolomina aurea, and they kind of all, I don't know. This first picture though, with these peachy leaves, I just think this is the cutest thing ever. And again, for me, I, I think homolominas are pretty easy. I love them. so why not get a cute easy plant it has these kind of like darker stems and with this peachy i guess it starts off this peachy color and then fades down to that minty green which i like i think it looks really cute but then there's this other one which is also called 
variegated home alumina mint but it looks completely different <laughs> so i don't know what's what i don't know if these one the second picture just doesn't have any newer emergent leaves maybe i don't know but then there's another one <laughs> in this next picture is the one that's considered aurea which is giving me like the regular because these first one the first one look like it might have a velvety texture but then this third one the aurea looks like it's a regular leaf texture but just with that greenish yellow the aurea variegation instead of the white so i do like this as well but i think i like the first one better the mint one even though this one looks mint to me too but it's called aurea i don't know any variation of these plants i will be happy with i don't even know to be honest if this is available in the u.s i just saw it on instagram and was like "Ooh, i would love that i've seen a white version i guess it's called i don't know if it's called homolomina um albo variegated but i've seen that on one of those indonesian sites that i've ordered from before have i ordered from before i don't know the point is i've seen it on an accessible site but it wasn't this variety so maybe it'll come to us this year you never know next is the hoya carrii silver splash so the thing about this and this is the same thing with a lot of hoyas i have a splash a carry eye splash but it don't look like this one so it must not be a silver splash so this silver splash like the whole splashy leaf is just with the thick look at it just look at it i really 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 like that so um what this picture oh that's how it comes out when it's little in this second picture if you see those two tiny leaves in the center i guess those are emergent leaves they look completely different and that's the thing with hoyas too like when the emergent leaf comes out you're like what's going on what is that leaf going to be and then it come out and it's like oh okay it looks good so yeah i have a beautiful one leaf cutting and i was be like over the moon with that one and then i saw this one and my jaw dropped i said i need that one too <laughs> so now i want this one too so this third picture this third picture looks mm, does it look more like mine you know it it be the it be the people that really know how to edit them the color grade of pictures to make it look more appealing because the third one looks a little more like mine's but i think it's just because the green is just more accurate to what we see in person i don't know either way i would like to see one in person so i can know if i really want it or not because i feel like i do the next is the philodendron gabby and this has been around for a while but i really wasn't interested in it until <clears throat> excuse me until i saw this picture that you see on the screen when i saw this picture i was like okay i think i need this and i think i actually ended up posting it on instagram because i was like that i like so if i find a good specimen i would like one still and you know what so i never it's not that i never wanted one the price was never wanting me you know so that's why i was never really into it because of the price and it was the same time around when the rios were really popular and i was like the rio looks like a cream splash or a silver splash or a brazil like i just wasn't there for it and the gabby was just kind of i just lumped the gabby with that but really though the gabby is different and i like it a lot i love the lime green pop in the middle with the dark green on the outside like i really really like the gabby looking at this picture it looks it reminds me of a burly marks the way it grows unless that's just the way they have it vining up it looks like it just grows any type of way but yeah i really like the color of this i have seen though that sometimes they lean very white and that could be a little scary especially if it's expensive so i'm gonna wait till the price keeps on coming down and then i'm gonna jump on that gabby because i really really like that the next on my wish list is that the last one now i have two more the next one is an anthurium luxurians hybrid particularly do i have one in particular that i want i don't think there's one in particular that i want but i just want a luxurians hybrid seed or seedling i love growing my anthuriums from seedlings or from seed so i would really want a luxurious hybrid because the texture on top of the velvetiness of another type of anthurium is just like mind-blowing as you can see in this picture here with the what's this the regal crossed with the luxurians 
look at it just do i really need to explain to you why like it's just so interesting looking i love the texture of the luxurians but then to put it on top of this like is it matte or is it satin i don't know but it's just it's giving it's giving the next one oh i cropped it i don't know what the oh okay the next one the next luxurian hybrid is crossed with i think it's bvep i forget what that stands for but i like the difference of the the veins and how wide it is it's just honestly i'll be happy with any luxurians hybrid as long as it's not eradicans because those are really close in the way that they look so it's not going to give me anything different this last one here it didn't say what this was crossed with, but I just thought the picture was so beautiful. And I'm sure it had a little help. It had a little help, you know, with the, you know, little editing skills, but the blue hue, the caption did talk about the blue hue. So I feel like the person must have saw some blue hue in person that he wanted to emphasize it in the picture. But either way, whatever it is, it's beautiful. And I'll be happy with any luxurious hybrid. Oh, I have one more picture. But I don't remember what that one is crossed with. Y'all get the point. Y'all get the point. The last thing on my wish list is a Ethereum Red Crystallinum. Look at the color. Look at the color. That's all I need to say. I mean, my, my Crystallinum, it does come out red, right? But when it hardens off, it's a general not in general it's like a medium green i'm looking at it now it's a medium green it's definitely not as dark as this and you can see the the leaves in the background the ones that have been hardened off it's darker green than mine's and the veining is kind of like blown out you know and it's let me look at mine it's not as pronounced it's not as pronounced okay it's different i know y'all know it's different look at this second picture Hey, look how round they are and the pink like sinus and then the veins and it's just, it's gorgeous. Like, and hers is super dark still. Like, she probably has a little editing, but it still looks so good. Here's another one. Is it the same person? No, different person and it's giving the same. So you know it's the plant. Like, the dark, deep, I just love dark velvety leaves. That's it, guys. If you tell me, okay, this is what I want to know because this is what I have come up with but I know that there is dark velvety leaves that I don't know about that y'all probably know about so let me know in the comments below what are some of your wish list plants what wish list plants do you think I should add to my wish list that I haven't had on there but you know I would be like I need that let me know because I feel like y'all be knowing and y'all be giving me some good suggestions so so that is all for my wish list for 2023 if you guys would like to know what my favorites are for this month of January check out my previous video here.